Hello, welcome to our Women's Health Update on Postpartum Depression. I'm Arifa Kassaboy. I'm a member on the advisory board of Medscape Internal Medicine, and I'm Senior Medical Director at WebMD. Today I'm joined by Dr. Elizabeth Fiddleston. She's at Columbia University where she's Director of the Women's Program in the Department of Psychiatry. And one of her multiple expertise includes perinatal psychopharmacology. Thank you for joining us. Thanks so much for having me. Well, I'm going to jump right in. Okay. Um, for the obstetricians and psychiatrists caring mm -hmm. for women with depression during pregnancy mm -hmm. and afterwards during that 12-month postpartum period, we know their drug treatments available for mm -hmm. postpartum depression and perinatal depression. But recently, the FDA approved the first drug that's specifically for postpartum depression. So Brexandalone was developed out of research that led us to understand a little bit more about the hormones in pregnancy and postpartum. So it's been known for a while that um, pregnancy hormones can, um, the hormonal changes through pregnancy can actually have a significant impact on some women and their risk for postpartum depression. And it's been thought for a long time that the sudden hormone changes during pregnancy, levels of estrogen and progesterone, for example, okay. skyrocket in the second and third trimester. And then as soon as the baby's delivered and then the placenta is delivered, those levels plummet down to essentially postmenopausal levels within 48 hours. Wow. That's yeah. a huge hormonal shift. And if you can think about how some women are, are sensitive to the relatively more subtle changes of hormones in the menstrual cycle, you can imagine that women who have some hormone sensitivity in particular right. would be sensitive to those massive hormone shifts. In fact, it's normal to have some degree of mood changes in the postpartum period. It's part of what we call the baby blues. When researchers looked at why there might be mood changes with those hormone shifts, what they found was that um, in some women in particular, the levels of a hormone called allopregnetolone, which is a derivative of progesterone, it's okay. one of the metabolites of progesterone, seem to be involved uh, in regulating mood and anxiety in these women. And this makes sense because allopregnetolone, which is in fact the, the main ingredient of brexanolone, is a GABA modulator. So okay. it's an allosteric GABA modulator, which okay. means it, um, it's a molecule that works on the GABA receptor, which is the same receptor that benzodiazepines, um, hypnotics, and alcohol work on, but in a different way. It binds to that receptor and facilitates the GABA receptor, which has an anxiolytic or um, inhibitory function okay. in the brain. So um, it's been known for a while that relatively different, you know, that the, perhaps the, the sudden drop in allopregnanolone levels may be involved in the um, emergence of postpartum depression for some women. And brexanolone was developed um, through research on looking at, can, well, asking the question, can we give back allopregnanolone and see whether that actually helps uh, correct what this big, this big shift and will that help women get better from postpartum depression? So what's exciting about brexanolone yeah. is that it is a novel compound. It's, you know, this is not, um, allopregnanolone has not been studied in other kinds of depression. It's really targeted for postpartum depression and there isn't anything else out there that's really right. targeted for the perinatal mood and anxiety disorders which are so prevalent and can be so devastating. Um, and it seems to work based on the preliminary studies. There seems to be a, a good response in a number of women, then, and it seems to work rapidly. Okay. Which is very exciting. So who are the women that will benefit most from this, and how, how do they get access to it? So the studies have been done in um, moderate to severe depression, so women with perinatal depression, okay. which is defined as... Um, depression that emerges during pregnancy or within the first four weeks postpartum. Okay. Um, the indication, I believe, is uh, for postpartum depression. So women can be um, up to six months or postpartum okay. um, at the time they get the treatment, um, although that may change with the FDA labeling. It seems to be more effective for more severe depression, um, and we don't really know that much yet about moderate or, uh, you know, the effects or how much better it is for moderate depression. So I think the, the threshold for who benefits from it is, 
still fairly high because of the restrictions on, okay. on it. Yeah. Um, and what would be great is if over time we can figure out who really are the people who would benefit from it. Is it really the, that hormone sensitive cohort who seems to be particularly benefit from it? I think it's important too that if once it's out there, I think because there's so much excitement and hope about it, that if a woman gets this and doesn't recover, it can, you know, I worry that it would, that she would feel hopeless or like maybe it isn't postpartum, maybe there's something really wrong with me. Yes. And that shouldn't be the message. There are many different ways to recover from perinatal mood and anxiety disorders. And this is just one new and exciting one, but right. certainly not the only one. Um, and so, and then there's other questions about, well, what about women with bipolar depression? Is it safe to use in bipolar disorder? Um, and, um, you know, can it's it, in the studies, it was used concurrently with other medications. Um, if someone isn't on another medication, such as an SSRI antidepressant, how long out do the benefits last? Is it a yeah. persisting effect? So there's a lot of questions. It's very exciting to have um, a new medication that's really for perinatal mood and anxiety disorders. It's also bringing a lot of attention to this really important issue. Exactly. Yes. Um, uh, but there's a lot of information that we'll need to gather to after the medication is released. I understand Brexen alone will be available in a restricted inpatient program. Yes. Tell us more about this. How does it work? How will it be administered? Brexalone is an infusion. It has to be given over 60 hours, which is two and a half days. Yes. Which is one of the major limitations of the medication. There needs to be an IV present for 60 hours. It's a long time. Um, at this point, it needs to be done in a monitored setting. So that means that for most patients, because monitored settings, we don't have mother-baby units, that means that the mom is most likely going to need to be separated from the baby for at least a significant portion of those 60 hours. But because there were apparently a few um, adverse events involving excess sedation, the FDA is requiring that the infusion be given um, in a monitored setting. So for um, most patients that would be at a medical center where they can be monitored throughout the entire 60 hours of the infusion to make sure they're not um, excessively sedated, their um, blood oxygen levels will be monitored and they'll be checked every two so hours. somnolence is the main side yes. effect? Yes, yeah. And right. the, the inpatient monitoring is imposed by the FDA for really for safety um, because the excess sedation um, not only is that pose a risk potentially for um, the patients, but if you can imagine someone taking care of a newborn baby, the concern is that that might put the baby at risk as well. How about safety for a mother that's breastfeeding for her infant? So it hasn't been studied in breastfeeding women. So the oh, women okay. in the studies have stopped breastfeeding for the duration of the, at least the infusion. Um, and there's no, so there's no real information about breastfeeding. Okay. However, it is a, my understanding is it's a large molecule. It does not pass readily into the breast milk. So, okay. um, you know, it may be safe in breastfeeding. I just don't have the information to say one way or another.